Hey guys, welcome to Groom with Charlie and today I'm back with a new video and today we'll be talking about how women, yeah, women who are into powerlifting, bodybuilding, athletics, sports and other kinds of physical activities can take creatine. First, let me put it that way, I'm not a fan of creatine, not a big fan or a small fan, I actually loathe creatine, seriously, I don't like taking creatine and I don't prescribe it to anybody. However, creatine is one of the most researched and searched supplements over social media and other platforms including Google and Yahoo because creatine has a lot of potency when it comes to getting those physical gains. So I will not go to the men's side of creatine, I will be covering it in some other aspects because I have already given what are the mistakes and how to increase the creatine efficiency by avoiding these mistakes. You can check it right up. Today I will just restrict my uh, domain to women like how women should take creatine because I am like uh, my girlfriend is trying to bulk up I'm not actually saying bulk up she's trying to gain strength and size and I prescribed her a pretty decent creatine module which won't be affecting her physically because there are many issues related to females and creatine shouldn't be taken just randomly there are many ways you should take creatine first I will like, be talking about the misconceptions regarding that so people think that creatine actually makes you get big. Yeah, it helps you with that. Yeah, I won't say because you tend to gain water like the phosphate chains or the phosphate molecules which goes in your muscle. It helps you with energy gains and it helps you with those increased performance thing. But it also helps you gain some water like cell volumization and it gives you energy so you do those more reps and you get buffed up. So for buff girls, like the girls who are get, looking to get a lot of strength, you should know one thing that you don't produce testosterone in that level as like your testosterone levels are seriously low as compared to guys because guys automatically produce testosterone due to their testicles. But so when the testosterone level is high, you don't tend to get in a lot of water because testosterone plays an important part in enhancing those visible effects of creatine. Suppose you see a guy and he's like bulked up during winter. You can understand that he's taking creatine or his supplement do have creatine in some of the other form because he will be slightly bigger than what he used to be. That is because basically due to water retention. However, when it comes to females, it doesn't make you bulk up that much, but it helps you with those fantastic gains. Like it will make you gain strength. That's the most important thing and it will help you be more agile. Like, let me give you an example of that. Suppose what creatine does, you all have must have uh, seen videos regarding creatine. So creatine helps you generate those ATP molecules. Usually when your, your muscles, like the muscular tissues do have ATP. So when your muscles work or they are un put under tension, you do any kind of physical activities, those ATPs, the phosphate molecules compromise for giving you the energy and it gets transformed to ADP. That's diphosphate and not triphosphate. And ATP cannot be synthesized, it's useless. So our body needs those phosphate stuffs or the phosphate chains to make more ATPs and get more energy. So that is how creatine does that. So you get those extra help and extra reps you can put. And researchers have shown that around 15% of women have like do take creatine with great effect. And most importantly, if creatine works, like enhances the performance, like around 5% for guys, it will increase 16% of performance based things for the ladies so if you are a woman and if you are considering taking creatine take it and you will get a massive around 15 to 20 percent gain in your energy and your stamina and your agility if you are into sports now how to take creatine and it won't make you feel bloated that's the most important thing i would like to cover in this part because women have that particular period of a month where she gets a lot of cramps and what creatine does it makes you like bloated with water and if you don't take enough water to like suffice it you will feel cramped. So for women, if you take a lot of creatine, you need to have a lot of water and that will actually make you cramped for even those seven day periods or the five day according to like your physicality, what kind of uh, cycle you have and it actually will make you more cramped. So there is a thing and there is a trick or how to use creatine. It can be a blessing in disguise because if you are like, uh, if you are menstruating and you need to drink a loads of water to keep the fluids flowing in your body. The electrolyte balance should be fine, else you will get cramped automatically. So, you should not abuse creatine and you should only take maximum 3 to 5 grams of the same and I would prefer a dosage of 3 grams. 
3 grams of dosage is fine and that is what I am recommending to my girlfriend even. 3 grams upon waking up in the morning with a bit of dextrose that is the first thing you should have creatine with. It actually helps you gain a lot of stamina. A lot of stamina. So this is how females should take creatine and the form which like creatine monohydrate, crea pure, the best thing. You should take that and we should not uh, actually experiment with creatine HCL and nitrate because there are many compound chains added to it. I will be explaining and I will be giving a detailed description of how what is the difference between creatine monohydrate, creatine hydrochloride and creatine nitrate. All these forms of creatine and even crea pure. I will talking about these in the subsequent videos. But for now, I will just tell females to follow a simple strategy. If you are using other supplements and this is going to you want to gain strength most importantly. Take 3 grams of creatine, don't go for a loading phase, you guys, girls don't need it. 3 grams of creatine within a week or maximum 2 weeks will be noticing strength gains. Size gains, it depends on how you work out, how your intensity is. It's actually good and you should consider taking creatine. Don't go for those fancy creatine labels like uh, high, monohyd uh, hydrochloride and nitrate. Just go for creatine monohydrate. It's as simple as that. 3 grams with a bit of dextrose in the morning and... And you, you girls should also look to check the creatine mistakes which people avoid like try to take it with a bit of salt, try to drink a lot of water with it, keep the electrolyte balance. The most important thing with creatine is to keep your electrolyte balance proper. Just don't take creatine and expect results if you are not drinking a lot of water because water comprises of those, it makes you flow those things inside your body like soda, sodium potassium balance. It won't make a sense if you don't take a lot of water and for women. A particular or a given amount of water is necessary because there are many complications your organs are more complicated than a men's because we just take creatine and we flush it out but and when it comes to kidneys I won't tell you I'm like I am a big advocate and I'm a big believer that you should keep your kidneys in check especially women so what women should do they should like take simple dosage of creatine I would suggest a month of you month's usage and then cycle it off for a month and then take it if you want it and you will see noticeable gains and creatine is not like even into sports. If you take creatine, no dope test, nothing is going to like catch you because it's not a steroid. It's a simple, simple, well researched supplement, which actually I don't prefer. But if somebody wants it, then I should, I believe that I should give you the best possible advice. So this is article about how to use creatine, how women should use creatine. So stay tuned friends and do uh, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Share and subscribe uh, to my channel and there will be a new video every day. I say it usually but I don't get time actually. But from tomorrow there will be a new video every day. So stay tuned and stay healthy.